Hi, I'm Keith Farkas, a senior staff engineer here at VMware. vSphere HA provides high availability for virtual machines by pooling them and the host they reside on into a cluster. HA protects against scenarios such as host failures, host isolation, and application crashes. In this video, you will learn what a cluster is, how it is organized, and how HA detects and responds to host failure and or isolation. In order to use vSphere HA, you must first create a cluster. A cluster is a grouping of VSXI hosts administered collectively by vCenter server. Creating a cluster enables the hosts to work together so that they provide higher levels of virtual machine availability than each host could provide individually. When you create a vSphere HA cluster, HA elects a single host as the master host. The master host communicates with vCenter server and monitors the state of the other host and of the protected virtual machines. Different types of host issues are possible and the master host is responsible for detecting and dealing with them appropriately. The master host can detect host failures or isolation by monitoring for network heartbeats from each host every second. If it does not get a heartbeat, it determines if the host is heartbeating to one of the cluster's data stores. If not, the host is considered to have failed and HA restarts its virtual machines on alternate hosts. But if the host is still heartbeating with a data store, it might only be network isolated. This means that it is still running but cannot observe the vSphere HA management network. In this case, the master host continues to monitor the virtual machines and if they power off, restarts them on another host. You can configure how vSphere HA reacts to host failure or network isolation. If a host fails, its virtual machines need to be restarted on other hosts. The VM restart priority setting determines the relative order in which HA places virtual machines on new hosts. When it restarts the virtual machines, HA begins with those with the highest priority, continuing to those with the lowest priority until all virtual machines are restarted or no more cluster resources are available. If a host becomes isolated so that it is still running but has lost management network connectivity, HA uses the host isolation response setting to determine what happens to the affected virtual machines. You can set the host isolation response to leave the virtual machines powered on, which is the default, power them off and then fail over, or shut them down, then fail over. You can also customize this property for individual virtual machines. This video has shown you what a vSphere HA cluster is, how it works in basic failure scenarios, and why it can help you provide better availability for your virtual machines by protecting against unplanned host downtime. For more information about how to create a vSphere HA cluster, see the video Creating a vSphere DRS HA Cluster here on our YouTube channel. And to learn more about vSphere HA and other useful features, visit pubs.vmware.com.